hey guys in this video we're going to be looking at the heart um so the structure of the heart all the different parts of the heart do how blood flows through the heart and i've included um a nice little clever way for you to remember the order that blood flows through the heart and to check you've got your structures right As soon as you see the picture of a heart, the very, very first thing that I want you to do is to write right and left on the paper. Yes, I know I've written them the wrong way around, the way you think they should be. This is the right way around for the heart. And the reason I want you to write them down is because it is so easy to get confused when you are labelling the heart. So it's important to write things down. So but first of all, we're going to label the parts of the heart, then we're going to look at the path that blood takes. So here we have the vena cava. This is where blood enters the heart. It goes down from there into the right atrium. It passes through a valve and goes into the right ventricle. Over on the other side, um, we have the left ventricle. And you'll notice that this part of the muscle is much thicker than the other parts of the muscle. I'll explain why in a second. This is the right atrium. The vessel that leads from the left ventricle and out is the pulmonary artery. That goes to the lungs. It comes back from the lungs and goes into the right atrium through the pulmonary vein. And it's a bit hard to see on this picture because it's hidden behind the back, but here it is. And this brings blood back into the heart. It comes back into the heart, goes into the right atrium, out to the left ventricle and out to the rest of the body via the aorta. Now we have everything labelled, we're going to look at the path that the blood takes. So here we have the blood in two different colours. We have in blue deoxygenated blood. And in red oxygenated blood. Deoxygenated blood is blood that doesn't have oxygen in, and oxygenated blood is blood that does have oxygen in. Blood comes into the body, into the heart from the rest of the body, through the vena cava. Into the right atrium, passing through a valve into the left, right ventricle, sorry. See how easy it is to make a mistake. It goes from the right ventricle through another valve to the pul pulmonary artery where it goes off to the lungs. So the pulmonary artery carries deoxygenated blood. Then it comes back from the pulmonary artery in to the right atrium, through the valve again, down to the left ventricle. The muscle at the bottom of the left ventricle is very thick much thicker than the muscle on the right ventricle. This is because the right ventricle only has to pump to the lungs. We 
whereas the muscle around the left ventricle has to pump blood all the way around the body and back again. After it leaves the um, left ventricle, it goes up, out the aorta, to the rest of the body. The pulmonary vein carries oxygenated blood. Now you'll notice there's something slightly different about these. Normally, veins go into the heart and arteries leave the heart. Now, all veins normally carry deoxygenated blood. And all arteries normally carry oxygenated blood. except for the pulmonary artery and the pulmonary vein. The pulmonary artery and the pulmonary vein are exceptions to this rule because the pulmonary artery here is leaving the heart except it is carrying deoxygenated blood. The pulmonary vein is coming into the heart except it is carrying oxygenated blood. It is important to remember that exception to the normal rule. Valves have an important job and an important shape. They act like gates to stop the backflow of blood. Now, labelling the heart, remembering the path that blood takes may seem really complicated, but there is a lovely, easy, simple way to do this. It comes in through the vena cava, goes into the right atrium, then to the right ventricle, um, out from the right ventricle via the pulmonary artery, back into the heart in the pulmonary vein, from the pulmonary vein into the right atrium, from the right atrium down into the left ventricle and then leaving the left ventricle via the aorta. So when you're labelling um, your heart make sure it goes VA, 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 VA um, and if it doesn't you've made a mistake somewhere. So that's just a nice quick easy short little way of checking that you've labelled things correctly and you've got the path of blood correct.